station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Dan Hewitt. The science continued this week on station with the crew of Expedition 55. Japanese astronaut Norishigi Kanai installed a new infrared sensor in the station's advanced plant habitat to measure temperatures of the growing dwarf wheat over the next week. The automated plant growth chamber has been growing wheat and a plant called Arabidopsis for several weeks in ongoing efforts to improve our ability to cultivate crops in microgravity. And astronaut Scott Tingle took a few minutes to speak with students and faculty from his old college stomping grounds. Tingle spoke with a crowd at the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth and shared one pretty surreal example of how extreme astronaut training can be. We're trained to offer uh, first aid in many, many different scenarios. And we actually train in an emergency room for, uh, for a couple of weekends, uh, helping real life people. Uh, in a short story, uh, the one, one patient I had come in had his ear that had been cut off in a fight. And I actually sewed it on for him. So it was, uh, it was a pretty neat experience. This week's Twitter question comes from Tay DeFool, who wanted to know how often astronauts wash their clothes and need to change. Well, there's no laundry service on board the International Space Station, so they have to make their clothes last. Water is a very valuable resource in space, so there's no extra to use on washing clothes. Most dirty clothes get packed away on departing cargo ships to burn up in the Earth's atmosphere, along with any other trash and disposable items. As for how often they change, it varies between each crew member, with some wearing clothes for a few days at a time. Japanese astronaut Koichi Wakata wore some experimental clothes for a month straight, but they were designed to kill odor and bacteria and dry quickly. Keep sending your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space. space, space.